the whole world listens. You have that power. When you listen, you could tweet something and the whole world pays attention. So from my point of view, and this could be a selfish point of view, I always want you to speak for black people and in the betterment of black people. One thing is like, I don't know if I properly apologize for how that slave comment made people feel. So I want to take this moment right now to say that I'm sorry for hurrying. I'm sorry for the one-two effect of the MAGA hat into the slave comment. Uh, and I'm sorry for people who felt let down by that moment. And also I appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to talk to you about what the way I was thinking and what I was going through and what led me, you know, to that. And I just appreciate you guys holding on to me as a family. And this just proves how much love, you know, and sometimes I think people don't feel the love when it's like, I can still feel the love because I come home to Chicago and I hear three Drake records, I don't hear a Ye record. So, you know, some, sometimes you don't, and I was simple, we got all mine now, but we sometimes you don't feel the love because you're looking for it in certain, you, you're looking to get validated. You, you hear people comment, negative comment on everything. It's a, these slides just too small. What's going on? What right. those slides? Like, you know, it's just yeah, awesome. It's negativity that, you know, in a relationship, maybe somebody would do something just to see if you still love them. And one thing that I got from the TMZ comment is it showed me how much black people love me and how much black people count on me and depend on me. And I appreciate that. I'm know? glad you said that yeah. because black people yeah. do count on you and they do appreciate you. But and love me. And love you. Yeah, I'm <laughs> but you're talking about you're talking about people seeing the love and, and I just I really just want to be open with yeah. you, man. And I feel like a lot of people feel felt like we lost you Lord, yeah. to the Kardashian family. And I don't know if I've ever heard you address that, that people feel like that. How do you feel about people feeling that way about you? Well, actually, it's an extended, well, the Kardashians are an extended piece of my family and our family. I want to touch on something because, you know, there, you, you're saying comments, you're saying comments, so I still want to touch on this and I want to touch on right. that. Okay. You said, I ain't going to lie, I'm about my people. I have a, I have a suggestion, an adjustment to that statement. To just change the mind to our. If we could just change the I to we. Like, can I yes. say, but can I just say this? Because, and, and, mm -hmm. I, and, I, and I respect that, but when I say my people, I see how black people are still not treated fairly in this country, and that hurts. And first and foremost, I, I received your apology so much that it almost brought tears to my eyes because mm -hmm. as a black woman, that's what we miss from you, Kanye. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, I was really emotional this year with some of your actions just from a black perspective. So I really receive your apology and I appreciate it because you are in a position that not everyone gets to be in. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when you speak, the whole world listens. And your voice is so powerful that you have the ability to make true changes that can affect the African American community. So I just appreciate your apology and that is why I sit from this position and I say my people, I just feel that way. I didn't mean to cry, I really didn't mean to cry, but you're just, you're so important. God, God has blessed you with this ability that when you speak, change can happen. And and I, and, I, and I respect your viewpoint because maybe I'm not there that I respect when you said you're about the human race and that is absolutely right but as an African American woman I see things that my people black people go through every single day so I have to fight and speak for them I just feel that way mm. Can I I'm so sorry I'm not going to cry I swear I didn't mean to cry I didn't mean to get emotional, but I just wanted you to know like how it felt when you said that and when you were, when you were apologizing, I felt as though you, you got it. 
and, and, I, and I humbly accept your apology and I receive it. I really do receive it and I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. The, thank you for letting me see and feel this because like when you be out and on TV, on social media, you never get this level of a connection or this level of a, a feeling of, you know, what my voice could really mean because someone could come and say, well, you only stream this much or this didn't sell, or this, that, that, and it makes you feel like your voice is not meaningful like that's what that's what I'm saying that that spirit uh, you know if you love me and you riding if you love me and you riding then let's feel the love and let's stick together at all times because there's times where I think that people act out and do things because they're lacking the love and lacking the feeling and lacking the the family, you know, environment. Like the need to be around the friends and the energy. Like for instance, it's like Don C just is like not around as much. And the people that were around or starting to make money just didn't care about me as much as Don C did because we like moving like Kanye West is like an entity like a money making machine or something and you get into that situation and you don't have people that are continuously looking out for your best interests at all costs and making sure because I even had people that was with me at TMZ that could have stopped it that could have stopped it that could have mm -hmm. said like yo this is going too far right. that's just allowing you know these things to happen so I believe that the the you know the downfall of Kanye West is direct de directly related to Don C not being around. Wow. Uh, and because at the very beginning of my career, right when I was blowing up and Monop was managing me, because Monop manages me now again. <laughs> We, um, you know, we, we rebuilding, you know, what I can do. And it's a new, speaking third person, it's a new Kanye West that you're going to see that's going to be better because of this mental health situation. It's going to be better because of this TMZ situation. And Don is actually, he's actually in town right now because I just told him I need him to be there for me so shit like this don't happen to me because it's, I got to return the hug. I think it's uh. That's what family's for. That's what family's for. And you came home to your family. We talked. We talked early in this conversation.